masks are now required on planes as you travel, but not if you're drinking coffee. So I'm gonna provide you six tips that you can avoid neck and lower back pain as you travel for business or personal. Check it out today on The Wellness Doc. First, I'm gonna show you a pre-flight operation that you're supposed to do before you get on an airplane to help with neck and lower back pain. So considering, assuming that you get to the airport ahead of time before your flight, you'll first want to do some neck stretches. So just make them real simple and so you don't look too weird. I'm not really concerned about looking weird here. So just bring your head to one side over the other and then your head to the other side. Uh, it really feels good. Hold for about 20 to 30 seconds. The next exercise or stretch I'm gonna have you do for the mid and uh, back is uh, some shoulder mobilization. And I'll put the mask on here. Little watch out. And really squeeze between your shoulder blades when you do this. The next one you'll do is uh, upper rotation for the shoulders. So it's a good way to wave hi to everyone at the airport too. Watch this. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so hope you have fun with that for your pre-flight stretches. And I'll see you guys once we're in the air and we'll show you the rest of neck and low back stretches for the flight. Right now, because of what's going on, you have a little bit of a extra room. You get the middle seat. But even if you the planes start going to full capacity, there's something simple you can do without looking like totally obvious in the plane. This is just my son's teddy bear vest that I'm gonna use, but I'm gonna show you what to do. I'm gonna put this behind my neck, I'm gonna pull forward on this vest, and then I'm gonna lean my head backwards. What you wanna avoid is forward head posture during as much of your trip as possible. So normally, people would sit like this regardless of the back of the seat of the plane. What you want to do is have your head back so you still have to be careful about posture even when you're flying on a plane to help you a lot but two things you can do one let me show you this stretch first real good but now I'll show you the chin tuck that is the other neck stretch you can help with forward head posture and traveling in a plane. So those are the three things you can do to help with neck pain is to be careful about your posture do your neck stretch using a towel and when they start handing out blankets again you'll be able to use that and the final thing is the chin tuck that you can do right into your seat uh, let me show you one more that's a thoracic mobilization it might be a little bit harder unless you have a family member sitting right next to you but what i'm gonna, going to do is put this vest right behind my mid back and i'm going to push back against it sometimes you'll even get some cracks and pops so it's like you have a, your own chiropractor in the air watch this especially if you have a longer flight. Um, you're gonna to wanna to walk around as much as possible. It helps with circulation. It'll help with your pain. It'll help with your muscles tightening. So I highly recommend to walk as much as you can. Don't fall into the trap of being exhausted, carrying your luggage and putting it down uh, and just collapsing there because you're gonna have a long flight ahead of you in most situations. But the number one 
thing is, no matter what kind of plane seat you have, you want to have some support behind your back. So let's take, again, if you request blankets from the airline, if they're offering that at that time, that's great. Another thing is grab a towel or a shirt that you're bringing on your trip with you, roll it up and put it right in the small of your back. thing you can do once you put your uh, support in the small of your back is I'm going to show you what I'm doing with my foot down here. They have little chair dividers that in a car it's called a bed pedal but in the air it's just I think it's just anchored down to the plane but I want you to press your foot against that whenever you feel a little pain coming on and push your back into that chair with that support behind you. Uh, let me show you where it's at here. I do that multiple times during a trip uh, to help with my low back. The last thing I want to go over is, you may not love it, look what I've been doing this whole trip is drinking coffee. So if you want to drink a lot of coffee and water just so it forces you to get up to go to the restroom. If you think about it, if you sat at a desk for two and a half hours or you sit at uh, in a car for two and a half hours, that rarely happens and it would hurt your neck, mid back and low back when that happens. So try to take advantage of using the restroom as long as the seatbelt sign is not illuminated of course and then uh, make sure this will give you an unfriendly reminder that you have to use the restroom again but um, but yeah drink lots of water it's good for hydration too the caffeine for the coffee will help you stay awake so that's just a general tip of advice for flying whether you're flying anything over an hour and a half I would try to make sure that that happens uh, even an hour and a half flight or less try to get up and break it up in between it's just kind of hard because sometimes it'll get congested in there other things you can bring for your neck is a you know, travel neck pillow a lot of times that takes too much space and a lot of times that will push your head too far forward anyway so you won't get the relief that you're looking for obviously the preferred seat is the aisle so you have room to stretch out your legs but if the middle seat is still not being seated as you travel uh, it really doesn't matter which one you use just swing your legs into that middle hopefully your co-passenger is as great as mine that lets me even film in a plane so thank you guys for watching the wellness doc channel we are headed to disney in orlando right now to have a great time i'm feeling great i hope you do thank you for watching the wellness doc my name is dr eric duncan and remember it is well thanks